Good afternoon, friends. I've got a nice five string banjo to show you today. And um, this was a really fun instrument for me to work on. Um, I've been getting more big five string banjo orders lately. So I spent some time in the shop the last six weeks uh, working on some jigs and some process stuff just to make these instruments more repeatable, um, a little less labor um, and more accurate, of course. And so uh, even though the end product doesn't look any different to you, it was nice to work on that stuff while I did this instrument. Um, and uh, also, it's, I was thinking a lot today about how maybe 10 years ago or so in the old time banjo world, um, everybody was obsessed with all the different tone rings and how to get the most volume possible in that quest for loud. I think that maybe our ears were tainted by bluegrass in that respect. Um, and nowadays folks seem to be more interested in, in just a, a unique and beautiful tone. And I appreciate that um, because I think, I think chasing the tone ring um, uh, holy grail doesn't do as much good but anyway in this case um this instrument's got some really special curly maple on it the rim turned out beautiful this curly maple is from um salem oregon from uh xena forest products and that's reuben and ben's family forest and mill and uh it's cool because they have a lot of great uh you know domestic american hardwoods but they're doing it to manage their forest properly and I, I really respect them for that pistachio fretboard and head plate and i did uh, some maple binding on that this is an 11 inch rim block rim and uh when i make these you can either have a brass tone ring on the top just a rolled brass ho um, hoop or you can have all wood this one's all wood and the top layer is actually pistachio I've also been trying recently to not use the pistachio, but just the rim wood and see the difference. It's been kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, this curly maple is just very nice. Um, yeah, so uh, goat skin head and non-steel strings. So my non-steel string set is, the fourth string is a wound classical guitar string, and the other four strings are fluorocarbon material. Fluorocarbon is commonly used on ukuleles, but originally it was designed as fishing line. And I get specific string gauges in order to make the sets that I want. Um, they are thinner than nylon guts or nylon strings are, and that's why I like them. Because as you go up the neck, they're not so funky. Uh, I think they have a clearer tone, and they don't stretch nearly as much as nylon guts do. So I really like my non-steel string set. <laughs> So I think, you know, for nylon strings and a skin head, it's got a really vibrant tone, but it's sweet, you know, and I think the maple is what does that. Um, and yeah, not the loudest banjo in the world, but it's got a personality to its volume and tone that I really like. And I think that's more what I'm interested in, is uh, making something that feels good to you, not something that's going to, um, you know, outcompete a bluegrass banjo, because what's the point? Um, yeah, so I'm really pleased with this curly maple pistachio it is number 476 and it's ready to go cheers